Now this is a beautiful, beautiful locomotive. I mean, it's effectively two in one. Hi guys, this is Marlon here at Hearns Hobbies, and I wanted to show you guys an exciting new product that we just received. Uh, so we're looking at the narrow gauge from Buckman Narrow Gauge, Festiniog Railway locomotives. Uh, these are double Fairley locomotives, and we're gonna have a closer look at these, and I'll, I'll let you guys know a little bit about the history, and um, we'll have a look at these running and uh, see what it's like. So come along, thank you guys, let's have a look. So the Festiniog Railway is a, is a Welsh railway um, located in um, the southwestern United Kingdom, um, English Isle. And uh, the unique thing about it is it is the oldest continuously running railway in the world, uh, founded in the early to mid 1830s. Uh, and they're still operating today as a tourist line, and it's a popular tourist destination uh, within that part of the country. Uh, these locomotives are quite unique to that particular railway, um, and this design is known as a double Fairley. Fairley being the surname of the engineer who developed the idea, a Scottish, Scottish engineer. Uh, he had this belief that locomotives uh, wasted a lot of their, um, their attractive effort by having trailing wheels and leading wheels, and his idea was to make the, every wheel on the locomotive a driving wheel. Um, and he did this by essentially taking two completely separate locomotives, essentially, um, and then combining those mechanisms into a single chassis. So what happens is you have um, two boilers, two set of pistons, two set of independently functioning um, driving wheels. Um, and uh, what this means is that every single wheel is providing tractive effort. Uh, disadvantages to this design, of course, are because you do not have any leading or trailing wheels. Uh, there's a lot of uh, motion, rocking motion, um, back and forth from the driving wheels, and the leading and trailing wheels sort of help guide the locomotive through curves and helps alleviate that. So by eliminating those wheels, you also encourage like a potentially harsher ride um, and one that might be easier to derail on rough track. Um, another issue with the design is that there's limited capacity for uh, fuel, and in this case, these locomotives burn coal. Uh, later locomotives, which would have burned oil, um, could have could have alleviated that problem. Um, but but uh, this is a short railway that was only about 26 kilometers long, uh, so that really wouldn't have been too much of an issue uh, in this case. Uh, another another advantage I should also mention is because. The locomotive can be run just as effectively forward as it can in reverse. It's effectively the same at either end. It eliminates the need for a turntable or a Y or some other means of turning the locomotive around. Uh, and for a small short branch line like the Festiniog Railway, that would have been a really, really um, useful advantage. So let's just have a quick look at some of the detail. Uh, this particular one that we're looking at is the Earl of Marionef um, slash Aerol Marionid. Now that, that is my best attempt at Welsh, so I apologize if there's a mispronunciation there. Uh, now this is a beautiful, beautiful locomotive and unusually quite long um, due to its, its unique design uh, for a small narrow gauge locomotive. I mean, it's effectively two in one. Now these, these um, are available in a few different liveries. Uh, we're just looking at the lime green example for the time being. Um, you have some some wonderful printed detail. You have a crest here, you have the locomotive builder plate, uh, Fairleaf patent, and then the name here, the Earl of Marionef. There's some really fabulous detail. You've got separately applied um, brass hand railing. Um, there's some lift pins along the top here, if you can see that. Uh, inside the, the locomotive cabin, you have all, all sorts of um, braking mechanisms and levers. Uh, there's quite a lot of detail in there, and there would be ample room to fit a driver figure in there if you if you wanted to. Just have a quick look underneath. This is a sound fitted, fitted example, um, and all and all um, color schemes will be available with with sound as an option. Um, otherwise, these are DCC ready, and to my knowledge, they require the next 18 chip. Uh, which Buckman produces for their narrow gauge line of locomotives. Looking on the, on the end here, you have some uh, 
some vacuum braking hosing. There's the builder plate there. Lining around the, the windows on both sides. There's a pr quite a stunning level of detail. Reasonable weight too for something so small. And the advantage of having this drive arrangement with a with the firebox running through the entire length of the locomotive as per the prototype is that you can run quite a, a long heavy mechanism through this uh, without without um, you know eliminating that correct look. So that's a lovely example. Uh, let's let's put this down and we'll have a look at um, another example that we have here. Now in line maroon paint, we have Livingston Thompson, which I think is even more lovely than the line green, in my opinion. I have some lovely uh, double line pinstriping over the water tanks and the, and the uh, coal bunkers and along the sides of both cabs. Effectively, all of the detailing is the same as what I saw on the uh, lion green locomotive that we were just looking at. Looks like on one side you have the, the hatch to access the coal bunker is open. There's quite a complex detail here with the with the uh, whistle on either end as well. So two very lovely examples. I'll just put them here so you can see them both together. And to complement these locomotives, um, Buckman Narrow Gauge has a line of really nice carriages. Uh, both in lion green and also in maroon and cream as well. And I believe these are very similar, if not closely prototyped to the um, carriages used on the Festiniog railway um, it, with their current preservation trains. Uh, so these are still bodied third coach by a Bachmann narrow gauge, and they look lovely behind these locomotives. And we're just going to have a quick running demonstration now, so you, can, you guys can see exactly what that looks like. guys for having a look with me at the uh, the new double fairly locomotives um, from Bachman narrow gauge I hope you enjoyed that and I, ho I hope you have a great day thank you mm -hmm.